Here we are in our QuickBooks Online Test Company file. We started up in a prior presentation, noting that we're in the accounting view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top and switch the view down below. We're going to duplicate some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. Right click on the tab up top to duplicate it. As it's thinking, I right click on the duplicate a tab to duplicate it again. Back to the tab to the middle reports on the left hand side we're going to be opening up the balance sheet as that's thinking tab to the right reports on the left even though it was done thinking the, the computer thought really fast like computers do but we're going to go to the profit and loss going to close up the hand buggy change the range and we're going to say this is going to go from 010125 let's go to 06325 and let's see this on a month by month breakout, even though there's not much in it thus far for the first half of 2025. We're gonna go to the tab to the middle, close up the hand buggy. Let's do this one from 010125 to 06325 and hit the drop down. We wanna see this on a classes breakout, class by class and run it. And there we have it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the first tab. We wanna go down to the projects and i'm going to look at project number two that's where our focus is remembering that in the past we started the project and we made an estimate and then we got a down payment i'd first like to see this in excel so now we're going to have actual kind of uh, the job taking place costs for the job and i'd like to do that first in excel where it's more transparent and then we'll put it into the quickbooks system so here's in essence what we did to calculate the estimate this is basically our billing structure based on the estimate and now we're going to have actual time passing and actual expenses taking place so i'm going to make i'm going to make it a little bit wide i want to put some some columns between f and g so i'm going to put my cursor on column g i'm going to select on over i don't know like k that's about right and then right click and we want to insert so now we've got all these skinny columns I want to widen out those columns so i'm going to select from column e to column j not including that k because i want that to be a skinny and then i'm going to make these like the same width by just adjusting like this one so now they're all the same width let's make them a little smaller right about there eh, eh, that's about right okay okay and then i'm going to say this is going to be the actual actual job progress i think we can fit it, fit it down at the bottom here without a big issue and so i'm going to say this is going to be black and white on the header home tab font group black white and let's say we're going to say that we actually start work on month number two i'm just going to say equals month number two and then we we're actually going to finish it out on month five so we so two to five we're going to finish this thing out and then then let's think about the actual costs so the actual costs uh let's bring this out a bit we could say break it out between uh materials and labor and overhead head and then the total so i'll try to break it out like that and so let's go ahead and black and white this and center it as our headers and make this a little bit wider so you can see a space between these two headers. And so I'm just gonna kind of make up some numbers now for the actual expenses that are gonna take place for month number two, and then we'll continue filling out this table uh, as time passes. So we're gonna say, all right, we had month number two materials. Let's say the materials were 7,000 and let's say the labor is is uh, seven three thousand and let's say the overhead is going to be then uh three oh one eight and i'm going to sum this up equals the sum of there's the thirteen eighteen is the total okay so now uh i have my actual costs and we can use those actual costs to try to figure how complete the job is. And that's typically what we might do in like a revenue recognition concept if we have a longer term type of job to recognize the revenue based on how complete the job is. So for example, I could compare this number to the, the 
uh, the actual revenue to, I'm sorry, to the actual costs that we project, which is the 76,923 to see how complete the job is at this point in time. So I could say this is going to be this divided by the total cost. I'm going to make that a percent home tab uh, number group percentifying it. And I can add a couple depth decimals and I'm going to call this the percent complete percent complete home tab font group black and white. Let's make this a little bit wider for the percent complete. I can add some more decimals then why not do that if it's wider like that. So percent complete and then so the revenue revenue let's say revenue recog recognize or the revenue that we should recognize i'm going to pull all of this down so i can have a header right there i'm going to say just grab this and pull it down and i'm going to grab this and pull it down revenue to recognize or something like that is what i'm trying to say if i spelled it wrong that's not unusual for me because i spell stuff wrong sometimes you may have noticed that's just because the spelling's wrong my spelling's right the way that people say it should be spelled is wrong so in any case then we could say then the revenue that we should recognize if the the total revenue uh, is going to be 100,000 times the 1692 so on percent would be the 16923 and so on so we'll get into this component of it later but if you think about this in the next presentation to actually record this but if you think about this and you're saying okay well if i'm trying to recognize revenue as we go well then i can say this is what we actually spent so there's where we stand at this point in time i'm have a percent completion based on the total expenses to compare to what i think the total expenses will be at the end of the job that's my percent complete and i can multiply that times the revenue that i'm going to be receiving to think about where we should stand with regards to total revenue at this point in time is the general idea so we're just going to record this right now and we'll think about recording the revenue recognition component uh, in a following presentation all right so home tab font group let's put some borders around this now if i record this with just a journal entry in our little worksheet over here i can just say this happened on 228 and we're going to say that we had i'm just going to put it all into cost of goods sold because all of this is going to be part of the thing that we're making right the the job that we're doing cost of goods sold the other side is going to go i'm going to say to cash checking account assuming we paid for the labor overhead and materials in practice of course we would have multiple things that we paid for materials or we'd have payroll or contractors that were paying for the work and then we'd have you know overhead things that we're going to assign to it but i'm not i don't want to get into too much detail i want to focus on the progress invoicing and the time recognition thing so we're going to say this equals the actual total here and there's the debit and credit if i post this we're going to say this equals the debit 